Welcome everybody, Jameson C. Montgomery. Today I'm gonna to be demonstrating this device right here. But before I get into it, I'm excited to tell everybody that I am very, very grateful of all the feedback I've been getting lately on trying to repair that Eustachian tube dysfunction issues that a lot of people are really going through. Uh, I also got a lot of feedback about possibly creating a course. So it's been interesting to be the voice and the uh, the hope for that condition being as I went through it myself and got through it just fine. So today I'm going to demonstrate red light therapy uh, and it's very very simple but there's a few little notes that I want to throw out there to help everybody out with that. Uh, so I'm not going to waste too much of your time I'm just going to give you a few little background details. Uh, for all of you that haven't checked out my last video, I was dealing with eustachian tube dysfunction and there's a lot of things that I was dealing with. A lot of it's weird with this issue you don't really know what's causing it um, per se if you haven't I, I discussed a lot of this in the video so some of this is gonna sound like it's being repeated but if you have this issue you can't really recall what caused it it just kind of just pops up really and so that's what throws people off and that's what throws doctors off too because they think okay well what did you do what are you an allergy sufferer or what's the problem so it's kind of hard to really figure out whereas you know, you get around someone that's sick and you go home and two days later you end up sick. You kind of figure out, okay, that's what happened. I got sick because of so and so and so. But this is not really like that. You just kind of wake up one day and your ears are a little off, the tinnitus, uh, the ringing of the ears, uh, swishing sounds, weird stuff going on. And you're like, wow, how did that happen? Yeah, you could have just gotten a cold and then three or four days later you end up with this. And you're like, okay, does that have anything to do with my cold? And so, that's why I wanted to kind of get to it and tell you that this device right here was, was it had a huge part in me healing more so because of the the science behind red light therapy if you read red light therapy uh, and that can that can take hours to explain all the benefits that red light therapy brings to you but if you have had any experience of being in certain saunas or any um, like spa treatment centers or places like that, they have red light and you kind of think, oh, it's just the ambience light. No, there's science behind it. And so this thing has been a miracle worker for me. And what's funny is I didn't really buy this particular light strictly just for that problem. I bought it because when I do workouts and training and do cardio and, and try to, you know, and I, and I, my, my muscles get a little tense. This is really a great thing to have for those reasons as well. Fibromyalgia, if you have that, that's a great thing to use for that because this is gonna go into the muscle tissue and it's really gonna start doing its job. And so if you have eustachian tube dysfunction, what better way to get that light into the right area to start promoting that healing. So um, I'm gonna demonstrate it and I'm gonna do it very, quickly and simple. What I usually do, I just pull up a little chair. Hopefully you guys can see me here. Uh, and I'm, I would say you get to about, this range is good enough. This is a, a good amount of range here. Uh, you don't have to be too far away. Uh, being close isn't dangerous if you get these guys with you too. Make sure you have, and this is funny, these are actually not mine. Uh, too feminine to be mine but um, get get glasses with UV protection because you want to make sure if you're doing uh, you're doing like the front I'm gonna you know obviously when you do this you don't want a shirt on but for purposes of, of this video I'm not gonna do that to you guys so uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and face the device make sure it's a, you're about this distance from it you're gonna feel warm after a little while and that's fine but it's, that just tells you that you're at a good distance to feel uh, the temperature change. And that's totally fine because you want to be here. You want to be comfortable and you want to give at least 15 minutes per every session. The way I know it's 15 minutes is the right amount of time because it has it right here. It tells you. So right away I turn it on. And you want to make sure that, you know, it, what I usually do, I get my ear, earbuds and I just throw them in there. AirPods, whatever you guys call them these days. And I just throw them in there. And I just sit and relax. Don't even think about that. I'm, I'm not even paying attention to the time. And I'm just sitting there listening to my music. 
you know, you can do whatever it is that you want to do while this time, while this thing is going. And you, so you just sit here and you let it start. You'll start feeling a sensation. And believe it or not, the longer you do this, you'll start also, it starts relaxing to the point where you start feeling sleepy. So that's a normal thing to follow when you're doing this. You start feeling very sleepy in a good way. You know, you relax sleepy. And so you just kind of sit there. Like I said, make sure you have your UV protection on if you're going to be facing gauges. And even with UV, UV protection glasses on, sunglasses on, don't just stare into the light. I just keep it for safety purposes. But, you know, you don't want to just be staring at the bowl. Uh, but it's just good when you're looking in this initial direction that you have that extra protection to make sure. So I just kind of like let it just hit my face, hit my chest area. Usually, like I said, I have my shirt off and I let it just kind of hit this area here. And then once my 15 minutes is up, let me just show you here. I'll get a little closer so you can kind of see what it looks like. So you got, it's very simple. You got two buttons on there and you know, you got the off switch and then you got the, the dial over here. So if you don't want to spend 15 minutes, you don't have to. And so you can set the dial over there for, let's say four minutes and that's fine too. And then same way you do the front of your body, you go ahead and spin around and obviously you don't need these anymore and you just hit the back of your body. What I notice is this is a good way to make sure your posture is good because if you're de dealing with muscle tightness, uh, poor posture, a lot of us have poor posture. You want to, this is a good opportunity to start working on. Uh, what I do is when I'm sitting here, I'll, I'll do some chin tucks and I'll work on my posture while I'm getting the treatment going. For for the price that you pay for this device, it's really uh worth it because you're able to do it whenever you want you don't have to go anywhere and spend money and travel time commute time to go to wherever you need to go to get one of these guys it's right here for you and it's really inexpensive uh i think i dropped the link on the last video but i will drop the link on this video as well of where to buy one of these guys and so uh i really think you guys are going to get a lot of uh, good results using this device I, like I said I use it two to three times a week and another good thing is um, aside from you know treating your muscles it's good if you just literally so it, it swivels to so let me put it up here so it kind of has like a little little joint and it swivels so what I do sometimes as well is I actually let it hit the top of my head and um, it's good for a lot of things uh, hair growth it's good for just relaxing, you know, putting that light over your head, you start to feel that it's doing something positive for you. It's hard to explain. You have to kind of just do it yourself. Uh, so I do that as well. I lay down flat, put it up, put it up in like in front of my head. And when it's near my head, I, I make sure I push it, you know, a little ways further back, say like, say we're laying on the ground. I get to about a, you know, a good distance and lay my head down and let it hit the top of my head too. And so it really, let me put these down. It really does its job. And I think you all will, will really get a lot out of this device. Um, it's been doing wonders for me. Uh, like I said, as far as, far as the U-Station tube, which is why we're really here. All right, folks. So for all of you that are dealing with the U-Station tube dysfunction, and you're not sure what's causing it uh, I want to do this special demonstration for those cases so I got my glasses on here my sunglasses I got UV protection on I'm gonna power this guy on right now I want to make sure that I'm not at a place to have I don't have a um, my, I'm in my little wellness lab right here I don't have my table that's where I want it to be right now so I'm going to hold it for purposes of, of demonstration. You want to make sure that when you do it, you keep it at ear level. So whatever it is you have that can, you know, you don't have to hold it like me right now. You want to have it up against your face here, shining against your ear for about 15 minutes. Do the whole 15 minutes. And then once you're done with that ear, here's the thing. If you're only having issues in that one ear, do the other ear regardless. Just keep everything balanced this is the best way to do spin around do the other ear for 15 minutes and do that for a couple of weeks 
gets real warm real fast. So, put that in, I'm sorry. So, all right, folks, give that a shot and do it for consistently and let me know how it works for you all. I ask you all to subscribe to my channel so you can get all the latest, greatest health and wellness videos, motivation, yoga, and meditation. But before I let you go, I'd like to leave you with one thing. Being well is feeling well. Feeling well is doing well. Doing well is living well. Take care, everybody.